بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیسٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ یو آئی ہوپ یو انجوائنگ دی بیسٹ آف ویلتھ آئی ویلکم یو ان مائی کلاس دیٹ از انگلش فور گریٹ تھری وی آر لرننگ یونٹ ون اٹس ٹائٹل از دی ٹو بریو صحابہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ انہما ٹوڈے از لیکچر تھری انڈر دی ٹائٹل آف گرامر وی لرن اباؤٹ پنکچویشن اینڈ کیپٹلائزیشن ول کور پیج نمبر ٹین اینڈ الیون آف یو بک In your previous class, English for grade 2, I have taught you about punctuation. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video again. Today we learn further and we'll cover the SLO. Use punctuation according to the rules learnt earlier. And use capitalization according to the rules learnt earlier. So, Punctuation and capitalization we have already learned, so we'll just revise these rules. The, these are our today's SLOs. So let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Surah Ar-Rahman, verse 46 to 48, everyone upon the earth will perish and there will remain the face of your Lord. Honor of the majesty and honor. So, which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Yes, my dear students, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning about the resurrection day. A day when everything will be finished and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remain there. That is your Lord, your Rabb will be there. And you, Allah is mentioning it means you have to face, you have to stand in front of your Lord. So what, what is the point here? In the first verse, Allah is mentioning everything will perish and it's full stop. Then after this word Lord, your Rabb, there is a comma and the, the connection is telling you who is your Rabb? The honor of majesty and honor, right? And this question mark is a point for you to think. It, it's a point for all of us to think. So these are the punctuations which tell us what sentence is demanding what for us. Okay, so we'll learn further. Already we have learned these full stop, comma, question mark. So we'll learn further, inshallah. This is a sentence. Sarah, Aisha and I are going to the library do you want to come with us now there is no punctuation so the right expression sara we'll write it with capital s remember why because it is a proper noun its name of a person aisha again with capital a its name of a person a noun and i i is a substitution word a pronoun and we always write it in capital are going to the library so this is a full stop which is telling us the this sentence is complete now the next sentence starts that's why we have to write this do which here it's written in cap small letter we should write it in capital because from this point though we are writing a paragraph or sentences the first letter of the sentence should always be capital that's why we have to capitalize this d do you want to come with us because this is a question that's why we have to put a question mark at the end of the sentence are you getting it this is just a recap what we have learned earlier so let's see what's next open your book on page number 10 we are going to practice it from your book page number 10 of your book what's mentioned here grammar punctuation the first thing we are going to learn is comma where do we use comma? Comma, full stop and question mark are called punctuation marks, right? There are many more, but at this level, we will talk about comma, full stop and question mark. These three punctuation marks we will revise. We have already done all these three. We will just recall the use of comma, full stop and question mark. So let's start with use of comma. And this is the sign, this is the symbol. How do we represent comma? This is little lower to the line. 
we use comma to separate nouns, pronouns, and adjectives in a sentence. So we use comma to separate, to separate from each other. Which words? Nouns. And what are nouns? Now we know. Nouns are naming words. Pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns are substitution words. And what are substitution words? He, she, it, I, we, they, you, all. Those are pronouns. Then adjectives. What are adjectives? Describing words. We have already learned. So whenever there is a list of noun, a list of pronoun or list of adjectives to separate them from each other, we use this sign which is comma. Remember? So let's see the examples. Go to the market and bring carrots, comma, potatoes and tomatoes. Now you know carrot, potatoes, tomatoes are nouns. These are naming words. These are names of vegetables. So to separate them from each other, we use commas. So if there are more, we can use more commas. We can keep on writing the list by putting commas between the nouns. You got it? Okay. So the next punctuation mark is full stop. Where do we use full stop? We use full stop at the end of a simple sentence. Simple sentence means an affirmative sentence, just a simple sentence. When we end a sentence, we put a full stop. And I told you before this, full, full stop shows this statement is done. We don't want to say anything further. Okay? So if we have to say anything further, how do we do that? We'll inshallah learn further uh, in uh, next term. But right now, when a sentence ends, we just put a full stop. What are the examples? I am a student. This full stop is telling us this is, that's it. I just wanted to say I am a student. Full stop. We are all cousins. Like we are all, there are many children, we all are cousins. Full stop. Okay, so the statement is over, it ends here. That's why we have put a full stop. Remember? Okay, so the next is use of question mark. We use this mark which is known as question mark and where do we use it? We use question mark at the end of the interrogative sentences. And what are interrogative sentences? which are questions. If we want to ask a question, if we want to write a question, we mention this mark, which is sign of interrogation or question mark. Its examples are, who are you? Question mark means I want to know who are you. All right. Where do you live? Question mark. I want to know the place where do you live? Question mark. Right. These all rules we have learned. So this is just a recap. Are you getting it? All right. So next is capitalization. Remember, we use capital letter instead of small letters. We use certain words with capital letters. And which those words are? We write first letter, first letter of a sentence as a capital letter. Whenever we start writing a sentence, the first letter of the first word of the sentence should be capital. And we write first letter of the names of the days, months, people, or places with capital. Right? So the first letter of the sentence will be capital. If we are going to write name of a day, we should write it with capital letter. We are going to write name of a month. It should be capital. Name of any person. Name of people. We know its proper name. So we will write it with capital places all. So we can say all the proper nouns are written with capital letter. Okay. So inshallah we will uh, learn in detail proper nouns. So whenever a name refers to a day, a month, a person or a place, we write it with capital letter and the first letter of the sentence will be capital letter. 
Okay, so let's see its example. She, now she, why this S is capital? Because this is the first letter of the first word of the sentence. She is leaving for Islamabad. This Islamabad should be written with capital I because it's name of a place. With Fatima, again, Fatima is name of a person. It should be written with capital F. On the first Monday, Monday is name of a day of a week. It should be written with capital M. Of September, likewise, the names of months are written with capital letter. That's why this S is capital. And a full stop mentions this is the end of the sentence. You got it? She is leaving for Islamabad with Fatima, comma, on the first Monday of September. All right, so this is example of capitalization. So are you clear, like you recalled all the concepts which we have learned in previous class? All right, so it's time for practice. Open your book on page number 11. This is the practice exercise, what you are supposed to do. Punctuate the following sentences in your notebook. Use commas, full stop and question marks and capital letters. So you will write these sentences in your notebook wherever you need to put a comma, a full stop, a question mark, a capital letter, so you will write it. And dear fellow teachers, along with this video lecture, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, you may download it, print it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. And my dear students, now pause the video and write these sentences in your notebook with correct punctuation and capitalization. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time for your homework. Now what you will do? In your notebook, you will write five sentences about your family and you will be careful while writing. You will write it with proper punctuation and capitalization. Kindly teachers, when you check the homework, you should be careful about the proper use of punctuation and capitalization. And I'm giving you a worksheet, what you are supposed to do. Again, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, you may download and print it and kindly give a printed worksheet to my students for practice. And till then, you will rewrite these sentences with proper punctuation and capitalization. A sentence is written, you will rewrite over here with correct punctuation and capitalization. So what we have learned today, we recalled that we use comma to separate nouns, pronouns, and adjectives in a sentence. We recalled that we use full stop at the end of an affirmative or simple sentence. And we also recalled the rules of capitalization. So in this way, we achieved our today's SLOs, which were to Use punctuation according to the rules learnt earlier. Use capitalization according to the rules learnt earlier. So are we done with it? Yes, that's it. So tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep practicing. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.